comment yes, in the name of Jesus. We give him praise and worship. The Lord is good. His name is worthy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. God. Yes, God is good. Make sure you're sharing the link. The line is going to be filled tonight. Share the link to your loved one and let us go uh, to the next level in worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. to 
will end in your life. I hope you're ready to give God the glory. I hope you're ready to be connected to the ark of Yahushua, the one who is unchallengeable, the one who is the eternal rock of Gibraltar. When he crushes something, it cannot come back together. I want you to be ready tonight to worship him in the beauty of holiness. Special thanks so our special guests, there are a lot of uh, kingdom aristocrats that are on Apostle Joseph, uh, Apostle um, James, and Pastor, hallelujah, Pastor Joel is on as well. Praise the name of Yahshua. Uh, Pastor Kristen is coming on later. All the pastors of this executive board of the line of Judah Prophetic Ministry, I welcome Pastor, Prophet, Preacher, Teacher, Evangelist, the fivefold ministers. I welcome you in the apostolic name of Jesus. I want to welcome also my spiritual father, mighty God, Apostle Opera. I welcome you, sir, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to welcome all the mothers in Zion, the Deborah, the Esther, the Anna. Uh, just accept greetings in the respectful place. Tonight is not going to be any less than what we have in previous time. But before you can do what God wants you to do, some of you come with some burden on you tonight. Uh, you come with burden of all am I going to pay the bill? What am I going to do? So before you can step into the king's court, uh, and there's only one kingdom prerequisite to come into his court, is that you enter into his court with thanksgiving. Mm. So if you have too much things cumbering you, you cannot really feel the free flow. You will not be synergized with the frequency of heaven. So we're going to ask the Lord to purify us. I like to just ask God to purify me. I don't like to take it for granted. The scripture said those who stand must take heed to their ways, let they fall. I need a fresh cleaning every second, every minute of that day. Will we do Yahweh the honor by just asking him to pour out his blood um, in a new way up on us tonight to give us free course in the court of heaven so there will be no litigation accusation on us. Can we do that right now in Jesus name? Father in the Amen. name of Yahshua the Messiah Jesus the anointed one Amen. I come to have my soul clean, my mind clean my blood clean, my DNA, my RNA, my chromosome, God Almighty, Kushai. I come to decrease so that you can increase in all your realms and frequency. Father, I am asking for the blood. Hmm. Can the saints that are obedient begin to ask God for the blood to cleanse you, huh? Unless you think that you're perfect and you have arrived. Huh? We need the blood to cleanse us, uh, to make us spotless and blameless to stand before the holy God. Can you open your mouth and ask God, wherever I have erred, wherever I have sinned, holy ghost of the living God, can you show me some mercy tonight? Can you blot out the transgression? Can you remit it? Can you open your mouth and do that now, please? In the mighty name of Jesus, the anointed one. Hallelujah. 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 Profane, Father God, washing in the precious blood of the Lamb tonight, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, anywhere I've fallen short of your glory. Oh God, I repent, Father God. Forgive us, Father God. In the precious blood of the Lamb, Father God. Father, I speak in your God, no one what I pray. Lord, 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 Lord,
Lord, have your week in the Father God. In the mighty name I give you thanks for Great. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Great, great, great. You know me. I am a woman of fire. Hallelujah. The Lord we serve is a God of fire. The weary, whenever he show up, all things that are polluted and contaminated and defiled, it must melt like wax before the presence of the Ruach Kodesh. So because sometimes the enemy acts you and vex you, make you feel small, make you feel dirty. The next prayer part before we're going to the word tonight, we're going to ask the Lord to change our garment. Some of you have on some filthy garments, some garments that are stained with sin, some garments that have a lot of prohibition on it. So tonight we're asking God, all filthy garments in Isaiah 
number one, Jesus said, I'm going to give you a change of garment. I'm going to give you the garment of praise for the spirit of evidence. You can never accelerate to the realm of glory in the filthy garment that the enemy put upon you. Whether you had that garment put upon you involuntarily, like you're asleep and sick and decide that he's going to put on a garment on you tonight. That garment must be roasted by fire. We must put on the apostolic garment of righteousness. Can you open your mouth and say, Father, any empty garment on me, Internally or externally, internally externally, in the Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your will, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord. 
darkness may be incapacitated and inoperable. They should be crossed tonight in the prophetic name of Jesus. Are you hearing me, child of God? Any power that wants you to be irrelevant, any power that wants you to move from the front to the back, any power that wants to kill your ministry, kill your work, kill your anointing, you must be destroyed in the name of Jesus.
In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any power. Any power. Any power. Planting seeds of sickness and death in me. Planting seeds of sickness and death in me. You are, you are a liar. liar. Be uprooted by fire. Be, be uprooted be by fire. fire. Be uprooted in by the fire. Be uprooted by fire. In, in the, the mighty name, name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 So tonight we're going into a very dynamic teaching tonight. Hallelujah. My team tonight is your house, your home, your body, the habitation of the queen of the coast. And I reiterate, is your house, yes, your body, whatever is belonging to you. Has that become an habitation of the queen of the ghosts? So God is asking a question because God wants to make sure that you are delivered, that no personality, spiritual beings, entities, or deities, reincarnated beings will not be able to take from you what God has originally intended for you to have. And so tonight, our first biblical quotation we're going to lay tonight is taken from the book of Nahum. Because the kingdom that we're going to talk about tonight at length is a very diabolical kingdom. And Nahum 3, 1 to 4, according to the King James Version, give us the basic insight of some of the operation of this arch enemy. Here is what Nahum 3, 1 to 4 says. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departed not. The voice of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheel and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariot. The horsemen lift up both the bright sword and the glittering spear and there is a multitude of flame and a great number of carcass. There is none end of their corpse. They stumble upon their corpse because of the multitude of the order of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations to our wisdom and families to our witchcraft. That biblical characteristic of the queen of the coast and her conglomerate of hierarchical uh, strong man uh, is very, very serious. Hallelujah. The book of Nahum lay out the characteristic of this mistress. You need to understand first that she is an island. Second, she is the mistress of witchcraft. Third, she sell nations to our Odom. So that tells you that Odom can sell us into slavery. This witch, she sell nation to our Odoms. She trade families to our witchcraft. And God said, woe be unto you who does this abomination. So God begin to open my eyes tonight that there is a queen. That there is a diabolical dignity that is called the queen of the coast. And many of you that are living in the coastline era in the United States and different nations of the world, you will have to, hallelujah, overcome the influence of this diabolical hierarchy. I want to give you the history of this woman. Where did this queen derive from? Where is the origin of this queen? According to the Apocrypha in the book of Enoch, all the fallen 
calling angels that were male. They, 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 they found an alliance and they did the most abominable thing. 200 angels formed a mutual implication up on Mount Armand that they will disobey God. But the female version of the fallen angels, they become sirens. Can somebody say they become sirens in the name of Yahshua? They become sirens in the name of Yahshua. According to Greek mythological folklore, a siren and a mermaid is two different entity and we're going to go through because i see some of you have sirens uh, eating your flesh a uh, spiritual cannibalistic uh, kind of thing spiritual scavenger and there's a lot of thing you will read about in my book that i write about this course this course queen of the coast principality who is a wicked regimented principality when i talk about principality i'm talking about someone who has an influence as a menorah both in the physical and the spiritual realm. This monarch slay anointed men. A lot of men of God today are using the power of king of the coast to enslave God's people and God is getting ready to cry out like a travailing woman and set his church completely free in the prophetic name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. But before we go into the teaching, because these are oh, very wicked spirits, we are going to the court of heaven to get the old armor on us. Hallelujah. Tonight, every one of you need the armor on you in order for us to be effective in this battle against the queen of the coast. This queen has fought me all my life from Jamaica to America, and she's still not giving up because she wants me to be a part of her kingdom. But for God I live, for God I die. Jesus Christ is my Lord, and there is no other God beside Amen. Him. And Amen. 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 Speak of the blood speak in every department of Amen. my life, because I know that there is an end coming to all wickedness, and I will not be Amen. Conglomerate of witches Amen. that go to the ladies. Am I coming Amen. 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 You follow me tonight as I follow Christ. So you are. Amen. Yes. Abba Yahuwah. So you are my tonight. You are Amen. the armor of my children. You are the armor of every man, every woman, every boy, every girl on this global platform. Those from Tanzania, those from Uganda, those from Antigua, Bermuda, Barbados, those from Ireland, those from Jamaica, those from the different um, port, hallelujah, port Artinese, those from calling from the United Kingdom, those from Venezuela, Yugoslavia, those from Europe and all the different continents of the world, you're too great for number. I can call out all the nations tonight. May it please Abba, Yahuwah, the Creator of heaven and earth, who made no apology to man, and is no respecter of person. May it please the Lord to provide the efficacious God of Jesus to remit all transgression and sin tonight. In the mighty name of Yeshua Messiah, Father, I come to the court of the full armor of Yahuwah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I put on the God of truth tonight. Your breastplate of righteousness, your slander of the gospel of peace, your helmet of salvation that you appoint unto me. God, I put on the garment of vengeance according to Isaiah 59, 17, the cloak of zeal. Isaiah 59, 17, the armor of light. Romans 13, 12, your mighty seal of salvation according to Psalms 18, 35. I ask that you soak everyone in the blood. Soak their home in the blood. Soak their children in the 
word of so the marriage and ministry and gifting yes, and calling yes, so yes, the earth and the blood I also ask that you put upon us the garment of praise. Isaiah 61 verse 3. The God of righteousness on our lines. The God of faith around our reins. According to Isaiah 11 verse 5. I ask you now to deploy the large sword, hallelujah, the glittering sword of the Lord, the Lord seed of favor, Rikabo Shataba, to equip us according to Abakuk 3 verse 11, your shield of faith, Ephesians 6 16, we also ask for the large shield and the butter of truth, Psalms 91 verse 4, we ask for the mighty mass arrow of the Lord, deliverance. Second Kings 13 verse 17. We ask for the mighty war Amma of the word of Yahushua. Amma Ashiach, Jesus the anointed one. According to Jeremiah 23 29. May we stand and having done all to stand against the enemy God. We take up the sword of the war Kodesh the set apart spirit to defy the word of Yahuwah, and we stand against all evil forces that will come up against us because of the word. We synchronize and syncopate with the armor of God, and all God's children say, Amen in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Who is the queen of the coast? Oh, can we define this principality? All right, let us begin by analyzing our physical and spiritual configuration of this kind of demons that has been around for many decades, who is now working alongside of other Ayaki and other demons having her victim as prey. She never lets her prisoner go. And so the queen of the coast is someone you want to look into very carefully. Who is a queen? A queen is defined as a female ruler of an independent state of a royal family, a tribal chief or a monarch. She is a female version. The king is the male version. When Apostle Paul revealed that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality and power, he was saying, take your focus too much. To, don't put your focus merely on human being, because the, you are not limited to only human being at you, but there are some entities and deities that will attack you that are non-human. The Bible calls them principality and powers, rulers of darkness of this world. Queen of the coast is a ferocious principality. Apostle Paul write about this spiritual deity. He wrote about her characteristic as a wicked queen. Hallelujah, mighty God. This queen is a spirit. Hallelujah. She is. She can shape shift into various things. She can appear both physically and spiritually. Ritually. Hallelujah. The queen of the coast is to influence men and women to do all kind of things that is anti God. So when we talk about the queen, you cannot just look about someone that resides in the water. La This woman come out of the shoreline. She comes in the virus form. We have seen her as tragedies dominating humanity, corrupting you humanity through cosmetic, through the weave on, through the makeup, through, through illicit sexual relationship, through homosexuality, through lesbianism, through heterosexual, through bestiality, through pedophilia. This queen is showing that she's wicked and she is rebellious. The queen of the coast 
is one of the angels in heaven that rebel with Satan. Hallelujah. Where do you find Shakurobosata. We are not making any alliance with any disobedient queens. And the angels, the Bible says, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he has reversed into everlasting chain unto the day of judgment of that great day. Jude 1. The queen of Heaven is among other goddesses like Jezebel, like Athaliah, and all the queens. If you read my book on restoration of your spiritual crown, you will understand the importance of crown and why these goddess is personified as beings wearing crown. What kind of importance the crown is to them. Unknown to many people, your crown carry a lot of things for you, not just your stars. The Bible has many biblical quotations of God speaking about crowns. He said, I have made you a little lower than an angel. I have crowned you with glory. I have crowned you with honor. So you have honor on your head. You have glory on your head, which is unseen to you in the physical, but seen to your arch enemies in the spiritual. Are you hearing me, child of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So these are your keys. Uh, they are dignities, but they are perverted dignities. They are dignities, but they are fallen dignities. They were once children of God. They were once children of God who owned a higher estate. That means they were a part of God's heavenly family in heaven with him. We are God's earthly family, and God is going to one day establish his throne in, J in Jerusalem, the city of the great king, and he will rule as the governor of all the earth, here on earth. But until he come, he is here in heaven and on earth, delegating, putting things in order, taking things out of the influence and the domination of diabolical principality and giving you back dominion to help God to execute judgment upon every illegal activity to bind their nobles with fetches of iron. Come on, somebody. You are a part of God's military force. You are a part of Hallelujah. God's legislative board. Hallelujah. You are the upper Hallelujah. 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 Well, God is not going to move until you prophesy. God Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jeremiah, in Jeremiah 1 and verse 10, he said, What is this that thou sayest, Jeremiah? <laughs> Fiction. 
taken off the brain. And Jesus said to me, apart from giving you crown, I did the finished work on the cross by dying on the cross. Hallelujah. God says, I did it in Holy two dimensions. I give you your crown physically. I give you your crown spiritually. When you come to glory to be with me, I will be giving you lots of crown. Crowns of joy. Crowns of glory. Yeah. Crowns of Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, fish. 
nation. Hallelujah. They are called my folks. Can somebody say my folks? Uh, my folks. My folks. So who is a my folks? My folks are uh, 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 my people resides in the water. They are aquatic deities, aquatic creatures that reside in the water. And God began to tell me that in order for us to really, because they have all the wealth stored there, they have the wealth, they deal with commerce, they, they steal um, your, 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 your seed. I will give you more information on why God is saying tonight uh, we must engage the realm of triumph and anything we have in us, uh, things that we even adorn ourselves with, uh, unknown to us, uh, that they are hosting the habitation of these dangerous deities and these dangerous entity. God wants total liberation and we can't have one foot in and one foot out. Our prior defense mechanism will be too weak and we will not be able to overcome. My folks are very wicked. Let us look at who my folks are. Many, many teachers will want you to think that oh, my folk is just a fictional thing. My folks are my people. They are legendary, water-living human-like beings. Ah, Yabashata. They are attested in folklore and mythology throughout all ages. One of the nations that my folks are is prominent in is in China, in Africa, different parts of Africa. People go to these deities and make covenant with them. Certain kind of deities, hallelujah, like Dagon. So you can't say, oh, Merfolk is not biblical. Dagon is the god of the Philistine, and he is part human and part, hallelujah, fish. They are anthropomorphic fish, anthropomorphic fish. This is a different kind of fish. And so God began to talk to me and say, my daughter, I, I, I was in my home and I saw a lot of people, fish-like people coming out of the water. I saw them coming out of the water and I saw them taking on legs like human. And I said, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, what is this? And God says, what you see is real. They are coming to merge with humanity. So ladies and gentlemen, before you get married, make sure you know that that man is 100% human being. You don't want to this is not right. biblical should i ask the man can you please take out your manhood and let me see if it is a fish or what is there how will I be able, mm -hmm. Prophetess Anna, to discern yeah. that this man is a 100% mm -hmm. man? So my spiritual father mm -hmm. called me and he made me laugh until I wanted to cry. He said there was a man in a church in Nigeria that was waiting on a wife. Finally, a wife arrived and he asked his pastor if it is okay for him to marry. The pastor gave him permission to marry. Uh, when they were going on the honeymoon, Hallelujah, something strange took place. The lady was in a hurry to uh, take off her wig because her arm was protruding to the top of the wig. So the man said, what is that in the top of your head? And the woman said, I came from the animal kingdom. Ooh. So the pastor, he, the, the young man called the pastor and said, sir, what must I do? The pastor say, run for your life. Oh, Come on, somebody. We should have enough discernment so we don't have to run for our life. Come on. I need to know what species of man are you. That's if right. you're hybrid, right. if you are something else, if you're a decoy sent from the belly of hell, 
into another place. God wants to secure his bride. Shout hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. 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 So say that as a conglomerate of fallen angels. The Bible said something very serious in Isaiah chapter 14. It says, Oh, you are fallen from heaven, O stars of the morning, son of the dawn. You have been cut down to the earth. You have weakened the nation, but you said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven and I will make my throne above the stars and I will sit on the mouth of the assembly in the recess of the night, Isaiah 14, 12 to 14. This is the NASB translation. So Lucifer is one of them that will interrupt the things that God has preordained with you. And don't be... Don't be afraid to exercise your faith to the next level. If you feel like something is encroaching on you and you're not sure, it is okay to ask God 20 times. It is okay to ask God 50 times to make sure you're not coming in alignment with something that will cause your death. These spirits are cruel. Cruelty is defined as a deliberate infliction of pain and suffering. These spirits are cruel. They conduct violent murder, brutality. They abuse us. They are cold-blooded, cold-hearted, inhuman murderers. They are sadistic. They are, de- they are, they are barbaric. They are ruthless. These are the entity that comes from the marine kingdom along with the key queen of the coast. Their major target is to oppress humanity. Oppression is defined as the act of subjugating by cruelty, brutality, well, I'm conquering, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. control. So God wants to deliver us tonight. I do know on this line that I've been afflicted by the queen of the coast. I have been in battle with this witch for years. I know what I'm talking about. This witch will plant serpent in your body. This witch will plant shells in your body, beads in your body. They will plant animals in your body. When you go to doctor, the doctor is treating a particular thing. This thing that they plant in your body, it cannot be cured by pharmacia. Pharmacia cannot cure you. Somebody say, help us tonight. In the name of Joshua. Help us tonight. In the name of Jesus. Help us Lord. In the name of Yeshua. In the name of Jesus. So much are you online. When these things attack you, Pharmacia cannot help you. Because guess what? They also work with Pharmacia. What is Pharmacia? Pharmacia is where we get the word pharmacy. Pharmacia deal with science. Pharmacia deal with medicine. It deal with drugs. And it also deal with the serpent. Mm. So when you get attacked, the first thing the witches want you to do, run. And you run from one place to the other without consult the great physician to make them Mm -hmm. give the doctor the knowledge that you need also to get your deliverance. Pharmacia work with the queen of the coast. Uh, The queen of the coast has various departments. I will just brief you on a few. She has a manufacturing department. She have a department that they make all kind of things, technological things, that are way advanced, hallelujah, than what we are accustomed to in our realm. And I want to say to you tonight, it is time. Uh, I may have to have a part two because of the, the long duration of information that we will get tonight will not give us enough time to pray in the court of heaven to get out our plantation, to get out the destructive plantation of this mythological pantheon that is in our body. We need her to leave our body.
bodies, leave our cell, stop assassinating our body and our state man. We have to take prophetic action against these things. And God is just uh, that if we repent uh, and say, God, some of the things that I buy, some of the things that I use have an imprint on it. Some of the perfumes are the sweat of this, of this water diary. They put their materials and we wear them. And when we wear them, we are initiated in their kingdom and they're fighting you tooth and nail and you don't know how to get out of the attacks that is coming on you because you have already made a pack with hell unknown to you. God wants to deliver you tonight. Are you ready to be delivered in the name of Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Children that are in the water calling you mama. So are you, you, you are dreaming of baby sucking your breast. That's not your baby. Why do you need a baby to suck your breast when you're sleeping? Am I in the right place? Ah. Amen. Yes. Oh, Amen. Amen. Oh, Amen. Amen. You are. Amen. You are. Amen. When you see a baby sucking your breast, you must get up and go for the baby in the sun, the moon, the galaxy, the cosmic. That bastard must die by fire in the name of Yahshua. That's not your baby. Amen. That is a demon Amen. sucking out the virtue out of your breast. And if you don't get spiritual and get spiritual and take action, then you're going to hear that you have a lump in the breast. Then you're going to hear that it's cancer. Then you're going to hear that you may have to decapitate it. And then you're going to hear that we're going to bury the sister. She died from breast cancer. One shock from a baby. A demonic baby in, the, in, in, in your dream, which is called spiritual babies or spiritual children children that also come from the queen of the coast. You have some other set of children that is called the Obanji children. The Obanji children are wicked children. They come into intercourse. Some of them, their parents may pack with the devil. The Obanji children are one of, if you're an African or you're affiliated with African, they will tell you that once you hear about an Obanji child, everybody wants that mm-hmm. child to die because they know that child is going to be disaster and misery to the family. Praise God. Mm. So God says, the queen of the coast is the woman that the Bible depicts is the queen that is committing adultery with the kings of the earth. John the Revelator went in the Isle of Patmos, saw this woman and he was mesmerized by this beautiful queen. Hallelujah. And he was told that this is the island. He was told that the blood of prophets is with this witch. That means she killed the prophets. We need mega breakthrough tonight. And we need the queen of the coast, all of us. Are you there, child of God? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So I want to stop now. I want to lead us in prayer. We have been here since 10 o'clock. It's after 11. I know you get an idea where God is leading you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Some of them, some of you on this line, the queen of the coast of an agent that is living in your body. Some of you on this line, the queen of the coast has set you up for you to die. God put you on the prayer line and you're angry because you did not come on this line and you're praying with somebody. And I see the person that you're praying with is about to capture your spirit. And they're going to use you as a sacrifice. Rabba Kochata. Rikabo Sanda. Some of you, you know that the time is dangerous and because people speak in tongues. Hallelujah. And prophesy. You believe in them. There was a man that came on the line last week and after I finished praying with him, he's still crocodile. 
crocodile. I said this man of an ancestor with the crocodile. And I cannot be dealing with reptile and open the door for a crocodile. Somebody got to get deliverance on this one. If you keep running from people to people, your problem will not be solved. Hallelujah. Find one church. It does not have to be lying of Judah. Find one place. Commit yourself there and get your deliverance. My God. Somebody said the prophet is speaking the truth. Hallelujah. Yes, the prophet is speaking the truth. The is speaking the truth. Hallelujah. The truth. Speaking it's the truth. unbiblical. You don't have to run from east, west, north, and south. God is universal. Once you are living for God, God will break protocol and deliver you by fire. Amen. 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 God Amen. 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 Twenty-eight times in my lifetime, God delivered me from death. Twenty-eight. Time, my breath, leave and come back in me. God is a deliverer. Stop what you're doing and suck down in your God and say, God, I cannot die like this. I know I need some more work, God. If you don't have anyone to pray for you, Jesus is the great intercessor. Ah, hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 so I'm going to take you into prayer tonight, Pastor James and Pastor Joseph and Pastor Joel, we are going to invite you first before we do our real, the rest of the renunciation, we are asking you to pray tonight that the covenant that we have with the queen of the coast, Mama Shatta, we need the blood of Jesus to speak for us. Hebrews 12, 24 to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant to the blood of strengthening that speaketh better things than that of Abel. We need the blood to come in and to Speak unto null and void what the queen of the cross is speaking over us and over our children, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus. What of Jesus. Pastor James, are you there, sir? Pastor Joseph, are you there? Seems like I'm all alone. Oh, I'm always all alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pray. They were on just now. I don't know if they, they fell off. We are going to mm-hmm. ask the Lord for this to come off, for this to come off. I saw a lady who was just on the line turned with a man. Ah, that man has brought it to his altar. He's about to take out your spirit out of you right now. Huh? Mm-hmm. It's when he starts to pull out your spirit, don't call me because I'm not praying. I am not going oh, to pray. When he start to, I know the man very well. He's going to pull out your spirit out of you. I see that. Mm. You're going to start mm. to feel like a trap. You can go back and tell him that I say, don't pull out your spirit because he's going to take out your spirit because he wants a promotion. That's the end of you. Somebody say, let me stay away from these prophets. Hallelujah. Let me stay away from from these prophets, Lord, please. Let me stay away from them. I am am even willing to let any one of you want to go. I'm willing to let you go. Go to any church you want to go. Hallelujah. But find a good church that you can go. That's what you need to do. So when they start to pull out your soul and pull out your spirit, you don't come and say, Oh, prophet, yes, I am not taking no damage that somebody else has done. You need to stop running from church to church. Amen. That none of you could run to church Amen. to church like me until they almost blind me, deaf me, dumb me. I have to say, God. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah, prophetess. Hallelujah. Out of desperation, I run to these people, and I end up being worse. 
I said, God, you got to help me. God says, stop going from church to church. Do you believe I can deliver you? Some of you, when you go mm. and they pray for you, fear twice the attack. Some of you, when you're in a ministry and the ministry is a fire ministry, the demons are exposed. They don't like ministries that expose them. They like ministries that make them sit down on you, get strong on you, and, and, and become fortified. This ministry exposes diabolical. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Me. Demons will be hiding and clapping and singing and preaching. But the moment we show up, they are going to be exposed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So uh, we were calling you Apostle Joseph, Pastor James, and Pastor Joel. We're asking you now to pray for us. So that the covenant that we have internally, externally, generationally with the Queen of the Coast, that give her a legal right to come into our lives, to create havoc and ruination. So we are begging God tonight, in the name of Jesus, to set us completely free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, sir. Hello? Yes, I want I want you to pray one after the other. Pastor Pastor Joel pray um for Sister Debbie at the end of it. We celebrating her birthday yesterday. Uh so you're gonna pray for her in Holland. I want Pastor James yeah, Pastor James to take the first prayer, please. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. 
somebody paid one million. I see somebody pursuing the things. I declare in this ministry, let that be a thing that we used to be doing the work of the Lord. Father, we declare this, this work of the Lord. We will never end up on the road. Anyone that hears the sound of my voice, you will never end up upon the road. In the name of Jesus, you will follow the narrow road and reach the place you're supposed to reach. Oh, Lord my God, any power that will rise against you that you will never make heaven, that you will never make it, after finding and bearing and bearing and bearing, get out that as you so you let that come here. Any power that says, so you let that come here. We can make such power in the name of Jesus. Any spirit of shame, any spirit of iniquity, any spirit of bondage, any spirit of sin of it doesn't matter. Sin of it doesn't matter. We command such power to scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. We cover you by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I declare silver. I declare silver. I declare the lapo. I see the angels of the warfare. I see the high angel protecting you. May the hand of the Lord be upon you. May the power of the Lord be upon you. This untrust, this word of God. This program will never bring enemy to your life. They will bring protection by the shield of faith. We put all the old samples of God against the wives of the enemy. We show our feet to the of gospel. Jesus Christ, you are the strong foundation. Wherever the man is not for his feet, it's a heritage. Wherever the voice of the Lord, the voice of the woman of God goes in this online. You shall possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Anarchy, you shall possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Anyone that hears the sound of my voice, you shall possess your possession in the name of Jesus. I carry you away to the giving of the fruits, all in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ, you are the truth I know. You are what? In Jesus' name. Uh, we want to welcome our partner, Nabuchi. Can you bless us, sir? Can you pray for us against any marine covenant and also against, uh, we want, we have a lady here selling a break, her birthday, um, from Holland. Can you do us the other to pray in these two areas? Pray against marine kingdom, king of the coast, particles in our bodies and stuff. And number two, pray for the woman who is celebrating her birthday. Apostle, go ahead. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jehovah. Father, Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, once again for what you're doing in the life of your children, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for the great mercy upon your children, Lord. Thank you for this month of May. For I know that the month of May is the month of divine favor. Month of May is a month of divine elevation. Month of May is a month of divine protection. Thank you for your children, for the members of this great ministry, Lord. We give you praise, first of all, in everything, Lord. Let your name be glorified. Thank you for your servant, the vision coordinator of this ministry, Lord. Let your name alone be glorified. And Lord, we are standing by your authority in corporate anointing. Father Jehovah, the Bible says, whatsoever we bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven. And standing by your authority, I come again the spirit of marine spirit, the marine power, fighting against your children, demonic attack, marine coven, monitoring powers, 
fighting against the life of their children. Libra, Koskondo, Robo, Jinda, Yiga, Baeken, the day. The Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, any entanglement, any initiation in the life of your children through dream, by food, or by sexual intercourse, any negativities, any negative covenants that your children might have entered, knowing or knowing, as we are hearing my voice right now, I command Holy Ghost fire to consume that power. I command Holy Ghost fire to destroy that power. In the name of Jesus Christ, Majinda Rabayando Roboshinda, you the spiritual husband, you the spiritual wife, you the demonic manipulations, you marine coven, you marine agent, disturbing and troubling the children of God, even as men are hearing my voice now. Today, your end has come in Jesus' name. Your end has come in Jesus' name. Yes, you that is hearing my voice now, that you have been witnessing yourself, seeing yourself in the dream, swimming in the ocean. Every time you are swimming, swimming, swimming. Somebody you are here hearing my voice now. You are always swimming in the water. You are always swimming in the river all the time. Today, I stop that demonic dream. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone you are hearing my voice right now. Every night you find yourself having sexual intercourse with a man, sometimes with a woman. And these are being a, a work of marine spirit tormenting you, troubling you. Today, I separate you from such an entanglement. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone you are hearing my voice right now. You find yourself always eating in dream. You eat all the time. And when you wake up, you witness some trouble in your body, in your system. Today, I stop that manipulation. I stop that demonic attack. I stop that marine food in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Someone, you're hearing my voice. You, most of the time in the dream, you become pregnant. You find yourself pregnant in your dream. And physical, you are seeking for front of the womb. Or physical, you are always, you know, you are believing for marriage. Today, every initiation, I cancel initiation. Whosoever have initiated into the marriage kingdom, be free in Jesus' name. Be Amen. free in Jesus' name. Amen. You shall never be tormented with that evil forces anymore. You shall not die. Spirit of fear. Demonic power of fear, evil forces of fear that have been tormenting you today. Oh, come on, come on. There's somebody hearing my voice now. You always, always see death, dead people pursuing you around in a dream. I am stopping that spirit of death following you, that shadow of death following you. That of course is fear in your life, you and your household. I stop that spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. I stop that power in Jesus' name. Every initiation is cancelled. Thou shall not die. You shall not die. Malibra Keskenere Moshinda. Zoromu. Hey, come on. There's somebody hearing my voice now. As the Lord is telling me now. That's what you are observing in your life. Wherever you enter, the witness hatred. You witness rejection. In the office, you are rejected. At home, you are rejected. You enter inside the bus, you are rejected. You found rejection in your life. That is the act of marine power. From today, the spirit of hatred in your life, I pull it out in Jesus' name. The garment of hatred in your life, I pull it out in Jesus' name. Be free, thou children of God. That's what I hear my voice from today. You are free from today. And I pray for the one that is having her birthday, that is celebrating her birthday, Jehovah. I pray, it's mighty God, God, for long life. For I pray for sound health. Hello? Her name is Debbie Yes, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Okay, I pray, mighty Jehovah, for the, your daughter, Lord Almighty God. I pray for long life. I pray for sound health. 
I pray for the grace of God upon your life. I pray for divine elevation. As the Lord has made you to see a new day, a new month, a new week, a new year in your life, things shall become new to your life. They shall be turned around. No more sickness. No more attack. No more setback. Because you marked a birthday celebration. The Lord will add more years upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Impossible shall come to possibilities. All that you desire shall come to pass. The Lord shall supply all your needs from today. Lord, thank you, Jehovah. Bless all your children hearing my voice now. Supply all their needs that in this month of May, all your children shall have testimonies. They shall rejoice. They all shall celebrate your goodness. All the members of this ministry, I lift them up unto your hand, Jehovah God. Whatever they lay and begin to prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever they go, Lord, begin to protect them. Protect them and their household. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare, declare is anyone hearing my voice now that is uh, at, the, at, the, at the point of death? Anyone hearing my voice now but you're in the hospital? For by his wounds are made whole. He sent his words, what he lets you. I declare, declare for your healing. The Bible said that healing is the children's bread. Begin to eat, begin to do your healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. wake up from the bed of affliction and seek no more. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Amen. That are on the line now that are infected with the marine spirit in our bodies. God will give them no rest. The fire of God must execute judgment on them, and they will come out. Pastor James, Pastor Joseph, and Pastor Joel, can you take this, please, sir? Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I am the Diane Jehovah Eloy. Every street of Marine Spirit. Every street of Marine Spirit. Every street of Marine Spirit. Every area they have got around this night Jehovah against your children by the power of authority. The Bible declares to me, say that. And whatever shall be banned, it shall be banned in heaven, and whatever shall be loose, it shall be loose. By the authority of the Most High, I lose everyone that Marie has died in the name of Jesus. By the authority of the Most High, I lose you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I am that I am the Uruguay and God that I have given the children of the Lord. By the authority of the Most High, we cast them out in the name of Jesus Christ. I am that I am. I release fire upon the Marine Spirit. 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 Every way the Marine Spirit is gathering the whole of the Egyptian people of the Lord. By the authority of the Most High, I release fire.
Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you to the In the name of Jesus. ago that you will get a new vehicle. Her husband gave her that vehicle today. We want to just use that vehicle as a point of contact. If she will not crash in that vehicle. Hey! Yes, sir. That vehicle will not become a burial ground. It will not become a cauldron. Can we pray a blood covering and dedicate that vehicle to Yeshua? I'm a shire on behalf of Sister Marie. Go ahead.
not be a cauldron. That car will not be a cauldron. It will not be a cauldron. Can you pray, sir? Hallelujah. I said that detail. We are called and says the Holy Ghost. She will not die by accident in it, nor which will bewitch her. Can we pray and give it back to the Lord? In Jesus' name. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Mighty God. Oh, I heard that the King of Glory, arrayed in splendor, who is mighty to save his ears. So let me just sit along. Blind Bartimaeus said, Jesus! Yes, hallelujah.